Yemen's Houthi authorities have harassed the Baha'i religious minority since taking power. Today, they continue to endanger their lives while trying to seize their properties. 19 Baha'is have recently been summoned to trial because of their beliefs. They may be convicted and jailed on baseless charges, including showing kindness and displaying rectitude of conduct. The authorities have threatened to brand the Baha'is as fugitives if they do not attend. We have seen this before. Six other Baha'is were arrested between 2013 and 2017, jailed and tortured, one of them even condemned to death. A UN-backed effort secured their release in July 2020 on the condition they leave Yemen. The Houthis declared these six as fugitives, despite having forced the exile. The names of the 19 Baha'is may also soon be published in the media, which would endanger their lives since violence against Baha'is has been publicly encouraged by senior Houthi figures. We also fear the Houthis are using the charges to confiscate assets and properties of the Baha'is, using persecution to run people out of the country and seize their belongings is reminiscent of what the Baha'is in Iran have faced for decades. Yemen has endured years of tragedy. The Houthis have pledged to respect their diverse country by protecting the rights of all Yemenis, regardless of their religious affiliations. How can they hope to achieve peace as long as the rights of the Baha'is are denied?